Okay, this is a public service announcement because it's very important that this gets to the people it needs to get to. Fat guys, some of you have Dunlaps. You know what I'm talking about? Your belly Dunlaps over your belt. <laughs> anyway, let me just tell you this. If you have a huge belly, it becomes a part of your waistline. I'm sick and tired of seeing fat guys that think they have 25 inch waistlines, so they just get those little teeny tiny pants and they let their belly just hike over everything and they wear those shirts that just come up to here on them and all you can see is like blubber gut at the bottom of them. Oh, do you know what you should do? If you want to teach those guys a lesson next time you see one of those guys without a shirt that's big enough to cover that ugly gut, just go grab that gut and go. <laughs> Of course, I think you're like I doing that once, but anyway, fat guys, learn your waist size, okay? Your waist, if your belly has integrated itself into your waist, then your waist is part of that, okay? You're not a 25 inch waist, you're a 52 inch waist, all right? Hike them pants up over that belly button, put on a belt, we're tired of seeing your crack, okay? We don't need to smile with you when you bend over, all right? I don't know, last time I took a trip to the Grand Canyon was when a plumber came to my house and did some work. Oh, fat guys, get some clothes that fit. Buy a size too big, maybe. Get some shirts that hang over the pants, okay? Make sure that there's not a piece of flesh that is showing on your bodies. And if you can't dress yourself, just PM me. I'll give you some help. Because I want fat people to look good. Because looking good and feeling good, sisters, they walk hand in hand. <laughs>